Hello everyone. This is a short novella or novel on Daisy Miller. This story was written by Henry James. It is an English novel of 19th century. It gives the reflection of Victorian age. Let's talk about the Henry James. He was born on 1843 and died in 1916. He was born into a wealthy family of intellectuals in New York City. He attended Harvard Law School but moved to Europe later. He published Daisy Miller in 1878 in Cornhill magazine. He has other major works too. The Portrait of a Lady in 1881, The Turn of the Screw in 1898, The Wings of the Dove in 1902, The Ambassadors in 1903 and many other works. First of all, let's talk about historical context. It shows the rapid increase of industrialization of that time, the expansion of railway roads, cooperation, and American imperial ventures. The setting of the story is in Veve, Geneva, Switzerland, and Italy. Let's talk about the novella. Daisy Miller, the protagonist of the novella, she is the daughter of a businessman in a new world. Her family shows wealth too openly, but without showing any pleasure. Daisy is a young American lady who encounters with an unknown culture and society in Europe during her visit. She gets obsessed with the European culture and the European dress. An unnamed first-person narrator takes readers to Veve of Switzerland, which was a popular vacation spot for rich Americans during 1870s. Let's talk about the characters thoroughly and then we'll know the story. Daisy Miller, her real name is Annie P. Miller. She is a rich American beautiful girl who is very fond of traveling. She travels to Europe with her brother and mother. She is the representation of high American society. She also witnessed high society of Europe during her visit. She refuses to follow the conducts of propriety of the old European world that is set by the old European community. She gets close with a man Giovanelli in Rome. She holds a mixture of various modern threads. She looks independent and old, bold spirit, but she is also ignorant and shallow. She proposes and puts her opinion that is not accepted by European society. She openly shares every detail of habits and idiosyncrasies of her family with shameless monotony. Daisy seems an irritating flirt. She does not know any lines of social grace and manners. She does not know the skill of communication. She only keeps on manipulating men and attracts them as she becomes only the center of attraction. So, Winton Bourne always gets preoccupied with many questions. He doubts whether Daisy is a nice girl or not. But her attitude and behavior never reveals about it. Winton Bourne is always doubtful about the vulgarity of Daisy. Winton Bourne finds her with Mr. Giovanelli at night, it becomes a matter of social conventions as such acts are not appropriate at all. The end of the novella discloses that Winterborn finds Daisy is true. Daisy dies of malaria as she was out with Mr. Giovanelli at night. Let's talk about the character Winterborn. He is a young American who lived in Geneva, who is the center of the narrative's consciousness. One of the main characters of the novel. At the initial phase of the novel, he gets captivated by Daisy's individuality and superficiality, but he gradually loses interest and respect for her. Yet, he regrets for his tough judgment after she dies. Winton Bourne holds the opinion and perspective of European society as he has spent most of his life in Europe. He is also connected with the New England Puritanism and has made his home in Geneva City. Henry James has agonizingly recognized the city as a source of Calvinism. The novella represents the male-centric European society via the character of Winterborn. In the very first part of the novel, Winterborn is shown as someone who becomes attracted toward the feminine beauty and observes and analyzes each female on the basis of his addiction and habit. He defends Daisy throughout the story. However, he cannot figure out her behavior and attitude according to moral terms. Throughout the novel, he is too suspicious toward Daisy's action. He categorizes her and defines her in terms of so-called societal conducts and moves her down to the familiar classes of women. So, in the eyes of Winterborn, Daisy is a noble girl with distinct flaws and uniqueness, but something unique that he does not accept properly. He is attracted by Daisy's openness and outspokenness, but he does not accept it. However, he is also surprised to know that Daisy's lack of concern for social fine points and rules of good manners that has been established by the European civilization. Later, such 
Such proprieties were adopted by the immigrants in Rome. He becomes a good friend with Daisy but ultimately have conclusion that she is beyond redemption. Now let's talk about the other characters too. Randolph Miller, a young boy of almost 9 or 10 years old, he is an ill-mannered and loud kind of person, a little brother of Daisy Miller. Now, Mrs. Miller, she is a Daisy's mother who is weak and vague. She is too obsessed with her health, she does not govern and guide Daisy and Randolph. She seems to be a naive and silly woman. However, when Daisy gets, suffers or gets malaria, her mother becomes the most resourceful and thoughtful nurse who loves her beyond her expectation. Mrs. Costello, she is a Winterborn's aunt. She is a self-important and a thin woman who is fond of Winterborn. She reflects an arrogant high European society. Eugenio. Miller's arrogant guide and interpreter, he is often called the courier in novel. He has a sense of modesty and verdict than Mrs. Miller and Daisy Miller. Mrs. Walker, a wealthy American widow who lives in Rome, she reflects the common values of American immigrant community in Rome. She shows her concern on Daisy's matter and wants to save her. Mr. Giovanelli. An Italian man with unknown origin and background, the American emigrant society misinterprets and misjudges his friendship with Daisy. It is assumed that their friendship is only direct or indirect reason to Daisy's exclusion and death. So, this long novel reflects many themes from this story. Innocence, female independence, mimic, societal code of conduct and proprieties, judgment and observation, growing in humanism, isolation are some of the basic themes of this story. The innocence here in the story gives a sense of woman and her sexual purity. At last, after the death of Daisy Miller, it was heard and observed that Winton Bourne went back to Geneva from Rome and studying hard. And some says that he is also giving much interest in a very clever foreign lady. So the, there is ultimate conflict in the story as well. Winton Bond sees Daisy as low woman who is also considered as uncultivated, immoral and uncultured woman in the perception of Winter Bond. He treats her as an amusement. He reduces her saying pretty. So this story also shows that the Victorian culture had divided women as pure and impure.